All right, what's going on Jello family? Have a pretty cool video for you guys today. I swung by the Tesla store and saw the new Model S Plaid for 2024 with the updated seats. As you can see here, these seats are the same seats for the Model 3 Performance that's about to come out. They're basically the new performance seats. So they have this new Plaid emblem embedded in between like the top layer of the seat, as well as they have Alcantara on the side of the seats it's pretty interesting so this here is the model s 2024 plaid that is out now and the tesla service people and the tesla people at the store told me that this is how it's going to be they have brand new seats so as you can see here there is alcantara all over the seats and the plaid seats now are more performance looking um, as well as there's carbon fiber all over the car but there has always been carbon fiber all over the car. However, um, I think the main really update here we can see are the seats. Um, as you can see here, we have carbon fiber here and my model uh, S long range has kind of a wood finish, but this is how it would look if it had a finish with the carbon fiber. So the seats now are more, they look like a race car. Essentially, if you've ever had like a gaming chair um, uh, with your, uh, like for computers, that's kind of how the seats look like, right? They look more aggressive, similar to a race car. And here's the back of the seats. As you can see, they're very, um, yeah, race car looking like. The Alcantara felt really nice. So if you ever have a black, say Model 3 or Model Y, the side doors have Alcantara on the side. So that's ex actually exactly how it feels. Here I am just walking around the car, um, showing you the, the Model S um, itself. Overall, the exterior is all the same. Everything's all the same except for the seats. The seats are the only ones with a big update to it. Um, also, I find it kind of fascinating. I think what Tesla's trying to do is they're trying to streamline production in a sense where the Model 3 performance seats and the Model S plaid seats will be the same because it's the performance variant of their car, right? As you know, uh, supply chain, um, is probably a lot more efficient when they have the similar parts. And um, when you have a performance variant, you really want to distinguish it because previous renditions of the car, they didn't have different seats. It was just essentially the only thing that was really different from the Model 3 performance, the Model 3 long range was just Uber turbine wheels with a red brake caliper. Um, so the plaid here as well, as you can see, we have a uh, black carbon fiber spoiler. You still have the plaid badge on the back. Um, if you can take a look here at the rims, we'll see that the rims are red, painted red. Previous renditions of the Mall S plaid had a black uh, rim. Now we have red rims all throughout the car, which is pretty cool. I like it the way it looks, right? Because the red brake calipers make it a lot more aggressive. It makes it feel like a performance variant. The seat itself, it felt very comfortable, right? If you have a current Model S, I think these seats, they I feel like they hug a little bit more to the close to the body. Um, for me, I have the current Model S, the seats felt more kind of sporty, but this one here is even sportier, right? It feels like this is actually a performance car. And the fact that we have a touch of red brake caliper paint on it uh, makes it a lot more aggressive. It makes it feel like this is actually a sports car. I know there's a lot of gripes between the Model S not having an update to the body and still a very similar body to previous models. But the um, the way you can really distinguish it for those of you who are new to the channel or new to kind of Tesla is that you have an all black um, trim all across the car. It's no longer chrome, so Tesla is all black. Uh, for the for the trim as well as the interior is the one that has the biggest update, which is really nice The screen is no longer vertical. It is a horizontal screen um, And it's it's kind of like a lot um, Most of the updates were from the interior of the car So as you can see here, here's the front the front looks the same nothing really different for that It's it's more so the same um, And if you look at the car right now, right? The wheels are a little bit different. They're all blacked out. There's no more silver. The trim all across the car is all black. So that's all black trim. The range is definitely increasing. I think around 405 for these wheels, right? It's kind of like similar to the Gemini wheels where you have smaller wheels, so you have much more range. Uh, as you can see here, there's a plaid badge in the back, the bottom right corner of that. And it just shows that this is the performance variant of Tesla. So now this video is gonna kind of loop back around and I'm gonna show you guys the seats again. So here are the seats. Um, basically these seats have 
the new Alcantara feel and look to it. You have the, the back also actually, it's kind of fascinating if you guys can see in this video here, they also have the Alcantara look on the side, which is pretty cool. I'm glad they put it on the back seats as well and not just the front. Uh, the front seats are where you'll feel the most different, right? Is as you can see the edges of the seat here, they're kind of uh, pointed outwards more, so they're hugging your body. I don't know how the um, the plaid badge here in the front, if you touch it in person, it's plastic, right? It's plastic, so I don't. I hope it doesn't scratch your neck. That was like my biggest concern when I sat down. I didn't feel any scratch on my neck whatsoever, um, but yeah, that's kind of how you're gonna distinguish it. It's gonna look really nice though with the white seats. Because the white seats, you'll see a black plaid badge and they'll contrast more with the white seats, especially with um, it coming to the Model 3 Performance and the Model S plaid. When that does come out, I'll make a video on that as well. So here's the Alcantara. I'm very happy they put the Alcantara on the back seats as well. And then that's where, you know, kind of this is a plaid uh, variant. I'm curious to see though, like when the long range comes out, will the Model S long range 2024 have Alcantara on the side? Or is this just limited to the plaid? We don't know yet. And you can, the way we can tell is like when the service center or when the uh, Tesla store just gets a new one. That's how you'll be able to tell, right? But the center console hasn't changed, right? It's still the the uh, carbon fiber, or if you use wood, it's still gonna be the same um, center console. The wheel is the same. Now that their circular wheel is their standard wheel, it used to be the yoke. Um, I'm glad it's a circular wheel. For you guys who like the yoke, it's a thousand dollar upgrade now. I personally don't recommend the yoke. Uh, this is kind of another side side uh, comment, but um, the yoke was very hard to drive with in my personal opinion, especially when you do a U-turn or when you're doing full self driving, having a giant square spin as you're doing a turn is kind of annoying and is a little bit dangerous in my personal opinion, at least with the wheel you can control how the car is moving uh, much more smooth and a lot better. Here we are in the front of the seat as well. As you can see here, right, um, the front is all the same, right? We still have the the long horizontal screen that I was talking about. That's the biggest update for the Model S long range and the Model S Plaid for 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. Also, the screen can go left and right, left and right. So I didn't show it in this video here, but the screen can go left and right where you press a button and then it'll go to the left or go to the right. This is just more or less, I guess, if you're driving, you want the screen to tilt. And that was like a feature that wasn't really available in previous Model S's, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but hey. All right, so here is the Model S plaid seats one more time. Here is what I was talking about. That is plastic. So if you guys ever see it in person, I'm assuming that it's also going to be plastic for the Model 3 performance when that does come out. I actually asked Tesla, when's the Model 3 performance coming out? Because I want to test drive that car. And they told me, um, we don't know yet. It's already out, but they haven't shipped it to any Tesla service centers or Tesla stores. So when it does come out, we will let you guys know. So keep in mind and look out for that video when that does come out. But overall, here's the Model S Plaid. Um, new seats, that's the biggest update for it, right? It still has a zero to 60 in 1.99 seconds. You have a 320 mile range if you have the arachnid wheels with the Tesla. Um, but if you have the Tesla, the, the wheels that come standard with it, I believe that is not the $4,500 extra because it is $4,500 extra to have a rack the wheels. These wheels right here are the standard wheels for the Model S. So if you get these Model S standard wheels, you won't have to pay an extra $450. It's standard 19 inch Tempest wheels. And they're about 402 miles of range, which is pretty good. Uh, that's for the long range. But if you decide to get the Plaid, the Plaid will lower it down to 359 miles of range. That's because most of the battery is being used for power for the car, going 1.99 seconds. My personal opinion, would I buy a Model S Plaid? No, I have a Model 3 long, or Model S long range, and it gets to zero to 60 in uh, 3.1 seconds, as well as I, because of the arachnid wheels, it has a range of 380 miles. In my opinion, 3.1 seconds is more than fast enough for this car. So just, I value range because range is most important because I drive a ton, right? And the the speed of 
I never launch my car, so it's kind of not necessary. And then when you drive your, your friends, your family around, no one wants you going 1.99 seconds. But if you're a car enthusiast and you like going on the track, then most likely it's maybe it'll be worth it for you, right? But yeah, those are the updates. So you have red brake calipers on the Model S Plaid, and then you have new seats on the Model S Plaid, right? Very nice. I love the seats and how they look. Jello family, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're growing so fast. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Take a look at the affiliate links down below. I do get a commission from it, but great links on how I grow my channel and just kind of YouTube links for, for your Tesla. So those are pretty cool. And check out my Instagram as well. And then check out my other channel, Angel Cross Talks. Have a great day, Jello family. Peace.